next we'll have uh, uh, the first uh, actually uh, Stanford Blockchain Accelerator team, uh, Daniel Marang, founder and CEO on Nexus. And uh, now let's uh, welcome uh, Daniel to the stage. Thank you, Kun. Oh. <clears throat> okay, hello everyone. Um, this is actually the time that we're going to present, the first time we're going to present uh, our project, which has been in stealth mode for a while. Um, and so let us introduce ourselves. Um, uh, I'm Daniel, uh, this is Paul. We both uh, work at Nexus. And I was a student here um, not a long time ago. I took the blockchain class, CS251, the cryptography class, CS255, the advanced cryptography class, CS355, uh, you know, all of, uh, you know, Dan, Dance, Dan Bones here, um, you know, classes. I think I've marketed uh, these classes for a long time, and um, I'm very grateful for, you know, everything that I've learned here at Stanford, and this definitely had a big impact on me, especially now because Nexus is a pure cryptography project. It's a project in pure mathematics, theoretical computer science, um, and cryptography, our sole uh, product is cryptography. And, um, well, Paul here, uh, he studied, uh, uh, for context, I, I studied computer science here at Stanford. Uh, Paul has a PhD in computer science at Harvard. He studied physics at MIT. Uh, he focused on formal verification. I focused on, uh, well, cryptography. And, um, well, you know, it just happens that they align very well, and so we're now working together. And so Nexus, Nexus is a project attempting to achieve uh, something that has not existed before, uh, which is general purpose verifiable computing. And what does this mean? Well, verifiable computing is uh, a field of cryptography that has been uh, researched for decades, since the 1980s, uh, by great scientists across the world, and um, there have existed multiple different cryptographic constructions to achieve this. And, um, but surprisingly, something that actually exists in practice, in production, at high scale, has not existed yet. And so we're trying to achieve exactly this at Nexus. <clears throat> so Nexus Labs, um, it's a scientific effort. Um, we are bringing the latest of the latest of the latest of research into recursive zero knowledge proofs to production into a large scale system. Um, and our sole goal is to enable verifiability for any computer program. What this means is, um, for those of you uh, who are not familiar with zero knowledge proofs and verifiable computing in general, what this means is that if there exists a verifier that selects a function and some input to the function and gives that to a prover, and the prover computes y equals f of x, how can we provably mathematically show, you know, with mathematical guarantee that y is actually f of x? How can we prove that we ran a program correctly? But most importantly, how can we prove this for any computer program. So imagine you write a Python program, a TypeScript program, whatever your choice of programming language is, and you run it, and it generates some output, which is the Y here. How can you show mathematically that that is actually the output that corresponds to running the selected function on its input? And this is exactly what we're trying to achieve at Nexus is to verifiably compute any computer program. In particular, we have built a mathematical system based on uh, zero knowledge proofs and the latest in uh, recursion uh, with zero knowledge proof research that we claim that can prove any program written in any programming language, uh, Python, TypeScript, uh, Rust especially. We, we all happen to be Rust enthusiasts. Um, prove any program written for any machine architecture, um, ARM, uh, RISC-V, the EVM, any arithmetization format, I will get into what that means later on. Um, any size, this is very important for us. We seek to be able to prove arbitrarily sized computations. 
computations, especially that might run for an, a potentially infinite time in an unbounded manner. So extremely large computations. And then we also seek to aggregate multiple different proofs into a single one and to build this CKVM in a way that is highly parallelizable. And this is what we call the Nexus CKVM, a system which we claim can achieve this. So, you know, uh, very simply, by any programming language, we mean literally any programming language. In particular, we talk about Rust. Um, so here, here at Nexus, as I said, um, all of us are Rust enthusiasts. Um, Rust is the language of cryptography nowadays, uh, meaning that all of, of cryptography is developed here, and it's just a very safe language. So um, we can probably execute many of these programs, but for now we're focusing on Rust. Uh, next, any machine architecture. So machine architecture, um, what it means is the instruction set uh, of the assembly language. For instance, the EVM, WebAssembly, ARM, and specifically RISC-V, which is an instruction set architecture that is uh, minimized. Um, it just has a few instructions. And so our CKVM is a general purpose CKVM, which can work for any machine architecture. And in particular, for the demo that we'll present today, uh, we'll do so for RISC-V, and actually Paul here uh, has uh, been in charge of implementing most of this RISC-V um, architecture that you know, works with our CKVM. Now, what does arithmetization mean? So for those unfamiliar with serial knowledge proofs, programs um, have to be encoded into an arithmetic circuit, which has gates, edges, etc. And there's many ways to do this for different systems. Um, the most popular one is R1CS. Um, and without getting into a lot of details, uh, for Plonk style um, serial knowledge proofs, you, you usually see Plonkish arithmetization. And for Starks, you see error arithmetization. Uh, recently, there is a new arithmetization called CCS that generalizes all of this uh, arithmetization formats by, uh, you know, it's done by some great scientists. Um, but most importantly, can we prove the correct execution of infinite sized computations? Computations um, of this form, let's say, um, that are the result of the repeated iteration of a function. So can we prove computations of potentially infinite size at any point across a computation? Um, not lastly, second to last, given multiple proofs for the execution of multiple programs on multiple inputs encoded for the same machine architecture, can we aggregate all those proofs together into a single proof? Let's say you have 1,000 program executions. Can we combine all of them into single proof um, such that verifying this proof um, essentially amounts to verifying all the previous programs? And finally, uh, we wish to build a massively parallel system, uh, and actually our technology enables us to do that, which is not only highly parallelizable, but also uh, highly amenable to distributed computation um, or distributed proof generation. And the reason for this, um, it's a little bit technical, but it just so happens that our system um, lends itself very well for this. So what is the science? behind uh, our project and the Nexus CKVM. And the science um, is called incrementally verifiable computation. It's a technology in cryptography which allows us to do many of the things that we've been talking here. And it is based on the latest of the latest um, of research into zero knowledge proofs and specifically recursion, recursion for zero knowledge proofs. Um, the, you can see a few papers here, but uh, it should actually be much more papers. Um, and um, this is what enables recursion. Essentially, what you could call like infinite recursion for serial knowledge proofs in a very lightweight manner. So we're going to demo our system uh, today, and we're going to show that we can prove the correct execution of this Rust program that you see here, uh, which implements the Fibonacci function, you know, a classic in this space, 
but specifically, uh, we want to show that we can prove 1,000 iterations of the Fibonacci function. And this gigantic number that you see here, it's the 1,000th Fibonacci number. And so, um, well, let's do that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So uh, what we will show here is, uh, well, the execution of our CKVM. As you can see, you can see like add, subtract, or like, you know, some assembly language here. What's actually happening is we're proving the execution of each individual instruction, um, instruction step in the machine that's being executed, which is RISC-V for this ROS program. So I'll just, I'll just show it briefly. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, let's move a little bit back. So number, o, number one, we execute the program. And we generate an arithmetization um, suitable for, for that program, which essentially um, compiles to RISC-V. And well, the RISC-V instruction set is what it actually gets arithmeticized. I won't get into a lot of details, because uh, this is not a super technical talk. but um, well, anyway, I'll just let it play. So what you are seeing are around 5,000 uh, iterations, a speed up at uh, around 200x, in which we're proving each step in the computation of the Fibonacci 1,000 function. And um, each step takes around uh, one second in our, in our machine because uh, it's still pretty inefficient. And the whole computation is sequential. And uh, essentially, at the end, we generate a serial knowledge proof that certifies the correct execution of this sequence of computations. And the verification, which happens at the end, is a succinct verification of the system, uh, which in this case just happened in around half a second. And this verifies uh, you know, uh, with mathematical correctness that all of this was done uh, correctly. And well, you can just see like the final result of the program. But it is this, specifically is supposed to generalize to any computation and any ROS program that targets RISC-V right now and in the future many other machine architectures using our technology. Um, yeah, let's, let's go back. Okay, I'll, I'll move it. Okay, so, uh, so, so what's the interesting thing here? Fibonacci 1000. What if you wanted to compute Fibonacci 1000 on the EVM? Well, it turns out that it uh, amounts to about 2,000 uh, in gas unit, 2 million, sorry, which is around $160 on Ethereum, on the EVM. And so if you run Fibonacci 1000 on Nexus and verify its execution on Ethereum, it amounts to around $20. And the reason is you ran all the computation on this um, machine that verifies the execution of the program and uh, the most exciting part is that you can do this for arbitrary values of n. Um, and, um, well, these are just approximate values. But this is exactly what you can do. The downside is generating these proofs takes a lot of time. So, for example, the demo that I showed, I mentioned that it's like sped up like 200x. Uh, proof generation is slow. But there's many ways to optimize this, especially around um, parallelization. So let's get a little bit more detail. What if we want to compute the nth Fibonacci number on the EVM? Well, it takes, uh, well, the cost is just exponential in the value of n. Uh, you can see that, uh, you know, it's that the, the left axis is the cost in US dollars. The, the x-axis is the value of n for Fibonacci. Um, but what is the cost of executing Fibonacci uh, of n on Nexus with an Ethereum verifier? It's constant size for any arbitrary value of n. And it's this um, blue line that you see at the bottom that is horizontal. And the cost is constant. It's $20. Now, it gets even more exciting because the other horizontal line that you see here, uh, the, the dotted line, is the block gas limit for Ethereum, which is around 10 million gas. And essentially, 
any computation that goes above this horizontal line is simply infeasible. It's infeasible on the EVM because, I mean, you just can't do it because it goes above the block gas limit. But you can do it on Nexus by generating a zero knowledge proof for the correct execution of the program and simply verifying it on chain. And so um, we think this is very exciting because this means that everything above the dotted line is a universe of infeasible computations on Ethereum currently that are unlocked by using our CKVM, which is able to prove unbounded computations. And uh, well, we think this is very exciting because this opens a whole new space for um, you know, large computations on Ethereum. So bottom line is the Nexus CKVM can prove uh, today any ROS program and do so for potentially infinite computations. Uh, the downside is you just have to sit down and, and, and wait for the proof to be there, but that's what we're working on. But the, the talk today was not titled um, Enabling General Purpose Verifiable Computing. It was titled Enabling Decentralized Verifiable Computing. Uh, our goal is to combine these two together, uh, general purpose and decentralization, into what we call the Nexus Network. And so, what is the Nexus Network? The Nexus Network is a system which uses this technology to essentially enable uh, the decentralized computation of zero knowledge proofs, uh, essentially to enable the verification of any computer program. Um, what you can see here, it's uh, essentially a system that given an array of functions and inputs to those functions can generate multiple proofs and aggregate those proofs together using recursion such that um, just with a single very small proof that can be very succinctly and efficiently verified, um, it attests to the correct execution of multiple functions on multiple different inputs. So Nexus is a, is a network for pure stateless verifiable computing. Uh, what this means is that the functions on the Nexus network are just pure functions, like Lambda functions on AWS or Google Cloud. They're just pure mathematical functions that have no state. Uh, functions on Ethereum and rollups, et cetera, they do have state, um, and they change state. That's why they are operating on transactions. On Nexus, it is just pure verifiable computation that is stateless, and Importantly, there exists an, an efficient transformation for any um, stateful function into a stateless one, and so that's why you have the Venn diagram here, um, in that, well, uh, essentially one can implement um, stateful applications using the stateless uh, lambda function-like functionalities that we are introducing for the Nexus uh, system. Importantly, Nexus is just gonna generate proofs for any computation that you want, and that's the bottom line here. So what are the implications here? Um, with the Nexus CKBM, we can generate zero knowledge proofs for any computation, and now uh, this implies the execution of any ROS program. And importantly, this allows, for the first time, we believe, for infinite size blockchain applications. And by infinite size, we mean programs that might run for an unbounded amount of time. Number two, language agnostic blockchain applications. Blockchain applications that uh, can be written in any programming language because they simply have to target our CKVM. And this can happen from any of your favorite programming languages. Lastly, the outsourced distributed computation of zero knowledge proofs in combined with powerful recursion and aggregation primitives to bring the cost down massively for, the, for computations specifically to this. So in summary, we claim that our CKBM can prove any program and we, in, we instantiate the system as a stateless, unbounded network for verifiable, pure computation. And uh, that's all, you should visit our talk. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.